Graduands, welcome to your virtual graduation ceremony. We are now live on YouTube and your ceremony will now begin. Good morning and welcome everyone. My name is Professor Li Wei and I'm the director and dean of the UCL Institute of Education, more popularly and fondly known simply as the IOE. It's my honor and privilege to welcome you to the UCL 2020 virtual graduation ceremony. I'm delighted to see so many graduates from the Department of Culture, Communication and Media here with us today. And I know that you have many friends and family members watching as well. We hope you are as proud as we are of this group of graduates and what our graduates have achieved. Obviously, we wish we could have been celebrating in different circumstances this summer. But until we can celebrate safely together, I'm delighted that we are able to come together to do this virtually today. We'll try our very best to replicate the experience you would have had this summer we'll be sharing a short video from our provost and president. You'll hear speeches from myself, Professor Jeff Besmore, the head of the department, and you also hear from a graduate about what life is like after you finish your degree at UCL. But first, a little housekeeping. I'm sure many of us are now very familiar with uh, virtual meetings. Please do feel to uh, feel free to share messages of congratulations in the chat function at the bottom of your screen. But otherwise, please stay muted until you're called to unmute. Graduates, you will be announcing names in groups. Once your name has been announced, we encourage you to turn your camera on. At the end of each group, we'll offer you our congratulations and then ask you to turn your cameras off before we move to the next group. Now I want to introduce you to our virtual platform party that joins us today to celebrate with you and who you can see on your screen. Colleagues, as I introduce you, please do unmute yourself and say hello to our audience. First of all, Professor Besmore, head of department. Hello everyone, uh, absolutely delighted to be here with you at this ceremony. Many congratulations to all of you on your fantastic achievements uh, and enjoy this moment. Pro Vice Provost and Director of the UCL Institute, uh, uh, Confucius Institute, Catherine Carrados. Hello everyone, um, congratulations. You must be so proud of yourselves. You've done fantastically well. Good luck for the future and please do keep in touch with us. Professor Alison Littlejohn. 
congratulations to all our graduates. This is a day that you will never forget, and it's such an honor to be with, with you here today. And uh, I'm looking forward to sharing in the celebrations. Karen and Marcus. Hello, everybody. You should be so proud. We're so proud of you. What a remarkable achievement, particularly when we pivoted to digital in this rather remarkable year. And so it's extra special, your achievements. Congratulations. Dr. Fortini Damen Didaki. Hello, everyone. Many congratulations for your achievements during this very difficult year. You should be extremely proud of yourselves, and we're all very proud of you. All the best. Professor John O'Regan. Hello, and many congratulations to all of you. I'm delighted to be here particularly for students on the MA Applied Linguistics, MA TESOL, and also those who did their doctorates in, uh, in those areas of research. Uh, and I'm also happy to be here as the IOE Vice Dean International too. So congratulations to all of you. What a wonderful day this is going to be. Dr. Claire Robbins. Hello, everybody. It's, um, it's lovely to see you. And um, to our students in art, design and museology, we, we wish you all the best. And we're so proud of your efforts because I think you had a very difficult time uh, during the year you graduated and you did brilliantly. We're very proud of you and you should be proud of yourselves, too. Annie Davy. Hi everyone, all students in particular from the MA Art and Design Education and Museums and Galleries and Education. And just to reiterate, well done. It was fantastic working with you over the past couple of years and you did so well with your exhibitions and your research projects that contribute to futures of art and design education and museum gallery education. Well done, please stay in touch. Dr. Jim McKinley. Big congratulations to everyone. It's really a, a moment in history to complete your studies in the academic year 2020-2021. Uh, really, for all of your resilience, this will go down in history. So really, congratulations to you all and an extra special shout out to all the graduates of the MAT Salt Pre-Service Program. Professor Mina Vasalu. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to give my warm congratulations to you and uh, particularly to our students in the MA in Education and Technology program. Uh, it's lovely to be here and celebrating this with you and I wish to everyone the best with the next steps that come after your MA and your degrees. Dr. Anna Polisa Sanchez. Hello everyone, uh, congratulations. Uh, I'm uh, very happy to be here today. Congratulations to all the students, in particular those um, in the MA Applied Linguistics and TESOL uh, programs and also uh, the PhD students in, in Applied Linguistics who are graduating today. This is a huge uh, achievement, so very well done everyone. And I'm happy to be able to share this special day with everyone. So enjoy your day. Dr. Michelle Cannon. Hello, everybody. I'm just going to congratulate everyone on this call. You've done brilliantly, especially over the past year, as people have been saying, and especially to the graduates on digital media, critical studies, education and production. You did some fabulous creative work as well as some critical work and many congratulations. I'm really happy to be here sharing this with you. Dr. Mark Smith. Hi there, everyone. Just to reiterate, it, uh, it couldn't have been a more challenging year and you guys couldn't have risen more spectacularly to that challenge. So congratulations to all of you. It really bodes well for your future. Well done. Professor Caroline Daly. We might have Good morning. Apologies, my connection is appalling. So just sincere congratulations to our, our graduates today. Absolutely wonderful to be here. Um, and I'm listening in, although I'm sorry, I can't show my screen. Thank you all. Have I missed out anything on the platform party? Just 
I've I've been missed, but that's fine. Oh, just sorry. Professor, uh, that's okay. Professor Martin Oliver. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Just wanted to say what a, a joy it is to be able to celebrate this with you. Um, yeah, Marcel, I'm the Pro-Director for Academic Development. Thank you. And I think we have uh, Dr. Adam uh, Amin as well. Amin. Adam? Might have lost his uh, connection. I'm sorry about that. Now, I declare this ceremony open. I will now hear from the Provost and President, Dr. Michael Smith Spence. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Spence, President and Provost of UCL. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all today to your virtual graduation ceremony. And I'd like to offer my wholehearted congratulations to you as you graduate from UCL and move forward to the next stage of your lives. Of course, I speak to many of you dispersed across the world today. We can agree that this situation isn't and hasn't been ideal, and we'd prefer to celebrate in person, but that doesn't diminish your remarkable achievements in any way. The whole UCL community is behind you, and we're in awe of the resilience that you've shown in the face of the challenges posed by the pandemic. Each of you has shown what you can achieve, even under the most trying circumstances. This year marks the 195th anniversary of UCL's founding. We continue to base our principles and beliefs on those of Jeremy Bentham, a commitment to social justice and the availability of education to all. At UCL, we've always believed in changing the world for the better. And as graduates, you'll carry that goal forward. You're a part of UCL's history, but just as importantly of its future too, this is not the end of your UCL journey. You're joining an impressive global alumni community of over 300,000 graduates who support and celebrate each other and who go on to achieve remarkable things around the world. UCL and the alumni community is here for you, not only as you take the next step in your career journey, but for life. So thank you, thank you and congratulations. I look forward to a time when we'll be able to come together in person to further celebrate your amazing achievements. I am now delighted to introduce Catherine Carruthers, Pro Vice Provost and Director of the UCL Institute for Confucius Institute for Schools to present the graduates. Thank you, Professor Li Wei. So I'm now delighted to present our graduates. I have pleasure in presenting to you these candidates who have been awarded a postgraduate diploma, Master of Arts or Master of Teaching. The following candidate has been awarded a postgraduate diploma in museums and galleries in education. Xiao Zhuang Lei. Hello. The following candidates have been awarded a Master of Arts in Applied Linguistics. Daniel Calvert. Tian Yun Cheng, Meng Yu Deng. You're very welcome to turn on your cameras. Maybe you have them, but I can't see them. I don't know. Um, Yun Cheng Xu, Yang Qian Qian Huang. Chen Zhe Huang, Jin Xie Huang, Ahmed Jaber, Yan Yan Li, Yao Li. Yang Li. Chuan Sun Long, Jing Shang Luo. Hi, I'm here. Do you turn on your camera. Sorry, my camera. Yes, turn on. Georgia Alice Main.
Anna Malakan. Mary Elizabeth Martin. Philip Allen Painter. Pauline Antoinette Rees. Ujia Shao. I'd like to. Hi, pause. everyone. I'd like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Congratulations. Very well done. Okay, those who've unmuted, perhaps you could mute again now and I'll move on to the next group. We continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Applied Linguistics. Estefania Tameo Pineda. Elizabeth Jane Helen Torres. Han Pong Wong. Hi. I'm here, thank you. Nai Jiao Wang. Xiao Xiao Jiao Wang. Hi. Yu Xuan Wang. Hi. Mei Yue Yu. Xiao Wan Yue. 在用在做里面会读中文有新玉章新玉章文婷教瑞学周 Master of Arts in Art and Design in Education. Hei Kyung Choi. Yin Shi Huang. Su Ran Li. Ni Shi Miao. Hey Jin Park, Yu Ju Sun, Wen Qin Wu, Yi Shan Xin. I'd like to pause again now and ask my colleagues again to unmute and give you a really big um, round of applause for our esteemed graduates. Very well done. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Excellent. Now moving on, we continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Digital Media, Culture and Education. Yue Chi Chen and Amy Louise Oldham. And then Master of Arts in Digital Media Critical Studies. Ro Jia Bai. Ming Xin Bao. Jia Yi Guo. Ji Yue Li. Hi, thank you. Yu Tong Li. Yi Han Lin, Reiko Naka, Shan Ning, Han Zhu Xim, Yi 
一庙王，杨王，嗨，殷宣卫。Hi, thank you. Yin Zhang. Hi, thank you. Ping Zhang. Master of Arts now in digital media education. Kai Lam Chao. Yi Jia Chen. Ruo Xin Chen. I'd like to pause again. And ask all my colleagues to unmute and give another very big round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Very well done, everyone. Great. <laughs> Going onwards, we continue on now with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Digital Media Education. Mariana del Almaida Filizola. Elin Fung. Thank you, it's my honor to receive this award. And there's one thing I want to say. I really like your hat. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Kai Ying Huang. Zhang Xinjiang. Hello, thank you very much. Proud to be UGCL alumni. <laughs> Lin Jing Li. Wei Qi Liu. Si Jia Ma. Ya Ping Mao. Nurina Severina. Hello. Yang Shu, Ying Lun Tang, Liang Hui Tian, Ming Sha Xie, Lu Yang. Lan Qi Zeng, Yi Ming Zhang, Jia Qi Zhang, Yu Zhuo Zhao, Yu Tong Zhuang. And that's everyone in that group. So I'd like to pause again, ask my colleagues to unmute and give a big round of applause to you all, to that group. Very well done, everyone. Yeah. That's great. Well done, everyone. Lovely to see you all. Now, moving on, we continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Digital Media Production. Shanggao. Xinyue Han. Yu Jie Huang. Isabel Dongying Lo. Thank you. Zhe <laughs> Bo Luo. Hello. Jing Yi Pei. Rafael Podlaski. I am. Um, thank you. Hello, Zijin Shang. Yu Tong Shi. Jia Ye Tong. Yi Zhe Wang. Yi 
嘉义王。知青王、面销、金化徐、一饭鱼、王耀章。紫青江，紫一照。Now it's time for another pause because we do need to congratulate everybody properly. So I'd like to pause here and ask my colleagues again to unmute and give a big round of applause to you all. Very well done. Ray. We continue on with the following candidates who have been awarded a Master of Arts in Education and Technology. Abayomi Gideon Akanji. Bridget Ann Barrier. Eliza Helen Bebb. Sweater Batley, Emma Jane Blackwood, Sarah Ann Fleming, Farah Ishrat Khan. Junshan Lee, Raki Layla Nair, Yue Li, Chika Masuda. Tijana Milenkovic Jankovic, Xin Mu, Ho Jok Pang, Sun Wo Pang. Yi Fan Ran, Xiao Min Shou, Jian Xi Teng, Chi Yu Cai, Shihab Udin. Gina Ray Vabulas, Zijing Wang. And again, we should pause and really congratulate um, these colleagues, these, these graduates. So please, could you, or graduates now, please could my colleagues unmute and give them a big round of applause. Woo! Ray! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm moving on. We're continuing with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Education and Technology. Ming Hong Wang, Yu Lin Wu, Jia Hao Wu, Yuan Ya Jiang, T 
天龙众，研究，修炼咒。Another Master of Arts in English Education. Caroline Collins. Jin Hong Wong Cox. Fang Xue Tiao. Ya Xian Hu. Jia Wen Liu, Noreen Marie Nelson, Christopher William Thorne, Shi Yu Wan, Zi Yi Jiang. Jie Zheng, and then moving on to the Master of Arts in Museums and Galleries in Education. Ava Karen Mirabella Bundes, Sabila Duhita Triono. Yu Jia Fan. I'd like to pause here and ask my colleagues again to unmute and give you a big round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Hooray! Hooray. Now we're moving on to the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in museums and galleries in education. James Harrod, Rose Athene Hilas, Marina Malievo Esteban, Maja Nesca, Xue Yao Qin, Sarah Marianne Raymond, Lydia Annie Shacklock, Wang Qi Song, Eleni. Val Tantniotti, Ge Wang, Li Jun Wang. And now moving on to the Master of Arts in Music Education. Jia Lu Fan, Yun Meng Hua, Zoe Ioannito. Natalie Lisa Letza. Chin Chin Li. Chen Ying Liang. Natasha Pedito, Ke Xin Qi, and Xin Yi Shang. So again, a pause whilst my colleagues unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates.
Okay, now we're moving on to the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Music Education. And the first one on my list here is Alice Diana Sprinkle. Wan Tian Sun. Xinying Eunice Tang. Jin Wei Tei. Yu Chi Wang. Hao Xin Wen. Xiao Tian Wu. Ke Feng Ye. Zhe Tong Ye. Bing Ru Zhang. Xing Xuan Zhong. And now the Master of Arts in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Ling Yun Tsai. Hui Cao. Zhuo Xuan Cao. Meng Fang Chen. Xiu Yu Chen. Hang Yan Chen. Yi Min Chen. Nian Ru Chen. Zi Qing Deng. Again, I would like to pause and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. We continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Shu Du, Jia Yafan, Jing Jing Gao, Wei Zhao Gong, Xiao Xiao Gu, Xiao Han. Sijia Hao. Jia Hui He. Xiao Ting Huang. Wen Tian Huang. Peng Jiang. Hua Mei Jiang. Si Yu Lai. Chen Leng. Yu Tong Li. Wan Yu Li. Hui Shan Li, Xiang Tian Li, Xing Yu Li, Yue Liao. I'd like to pause there and ask my college again to unmute and give you a round of applause. 
Hey. Oh. Ah. A big group here because we're continuing on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in teaching English to speakers of other languages. Funlin, Zhang Yilin, Mei Yinglin, Yunnang Lin, Ying Chun Liu, Xinyang Liu. Tian Yi Liu. Zi Jin Liu. Yang He Liu. Fei Yang Liu. Dan Liu. Yi Kang Liu. Shu Dan Lu. Ying Ma. Tian Yi Ma. Tian Ma. No Ram Megakat. Hei Yun Park, Zi Yin Peng, and Xi Ni Pu. I'd like to pause there and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a round of applause. Thank you, everyone. Um, and I'd like to continue with the following candidates who have been awarded a Master of Arts in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Um, Zhu Lin Pu, Xin Rong, Ku La Sha, Yang Shen, Xin Sun, Fei Sun, Meng Ni Sun, Yu Xuan Teng, Shi Yuan Tian, And Yu Chen Song, Chun Yu Wan, Yuan Yuan Wang, Hui Yu Wang, Qi Ying Wang, Zi Yu Wang. Yi Jing Wang, Zi Kun Wang, Yu Jin Wang, Peng Di Wu, Yu Jie Wu. Now, please, would you unmute and give this particular group a very, very big round of applause to our it seems graduates. <laughs> we continue on with the following candidates who've been awarded a Master of Arts in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. Yang Ping Wu, Ling Shi Wu, Xue Ni Xiong, Wu 
何以徐？回徐，烹丈羊。自一娘，耀阳，和痛阳，各夫阳，此逆焉。开阴鱼，朝南张，圆圆张，秋气蒸，鲁要重。国秦州，紫苇州，蒙费柱，一费柱，鸡泥红，千宁王 ，and a master of teaching。In teaching, Pavlos Philip Anastasi and Dominic James Rich. So, big congratulations to you all. I'd like to pause again and ask my colleagues to mute and give a round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Ah. Very well done, all of you. And we now turn to the successful candidate um, for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy. Doctoral candidates undertake a program of independent research over at least three years. They must demonstrate a capacity to pursue original thought and action and provide a distinct contribution to their subject. A research degree requires total commitment and is at the very pinnacle of academic study. I have pleasure in presenting to you the following candidates who have been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Applied Linguistics. Dr. Hanna Mohammed Almutari. Dr. Emma Brooks. Dr. Louis Marcello Carabantes Leo. Dr. Yuta Morgi. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Art History. Dr. Naoko Uchiyama. Doctor of Philosophy in Cognitive Linguistics, Dr. Yi Wang, Doctor of Philosophy in Education, Dr. Andres Hessel Kofferman, Doctor of Philosophy in Music Education and Inclusion, Dr. Diana Parkinson. Doctor of Philosophy in Sociolinguistics, Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Hyatt.
That concludes all of our candidates. So I'd ask that the virtual platform party all unmute themselves and give a big round of applause to both the doctoral candidates, but all of our candidates and graduates. I am now moving on, delighted to invite our head of department, Professor Jeff Bezemer, to give his address. Many thanks, Kath. Uh, uh, many congratulations again to um, all the graduates. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted that we have now been awarded a degree from the Department of Culture, Communication and Media. And as you've just heard, our department, your department, has a diverse offering of degrees. What we share is an interest in the ways in which people learn, communicate and do things with cultural resources ranging from language, music, art, drama, through to technology. Our 500 students enroll on our postgraduate uh, and doctoral programs each year. Uh, and this year, we're particularly excited about the launch of our very first undergraduate program, a BA in Media, which will eventually be based in UCL East, UCL's brand new second campus, built on the grounds of the Olympic Park. During your time with us, uh, you will all have been introduced to some of the very exciting research and scholarly activity that goes on in our departments and that underpins all our tool provision. We are proud to be at the forefront of empirical, conceptual and practice-based research in culture, communication and media that has real impact in the UK and worldwide. Just to give you two examples, uh, Professor Evangelos Himonidos leads a project called Beatboxing After Laryngectomy. He works with a charity called Shout at Can't Cancer to develop speech training with music for people who've just had a cancer operation. The significance of that work has not escaped the attention of our very own provost, uh, whom you've seen uh, at the beginning of the ceremony, uh, who awarded Evangelos with the provost's public engagement award. Professor Kerry Jewett leads a project called In Touch, which aims to explore the role of touch and communication in today's digital world. With funding from the European Research Council, she looks at the technologies that are being developed to enable remote touch. And it couldn't have been a more timely subject in this period of social distancing and Zoom meetings. You will have encountered many more examples of such um, cutting edge research during your stay at UCL uh, and in our department. We're so pleased that you have come to us to learn about all this important work and to develop your own academic skills you are now ready to share, apply and advance all that knowledge in pursuit of your own goals in life. And I wish you the very best with that. Thank you. I am now delighted to invite our Dean, Professor Lee Wei, to give his faculty address. Thank you very much. As Director and Dean of the UCL Institute of Education, let me once again say many con congratulations to everyone graduating today. And let me also say congratulations to your families and friends celebrating with you, who I know will be extremely proud of what you have accomplished. Graduate studies push us beyond our comfort zone in terms of in engaging with new ideas and developing the confidence to put our own stamp on, what, on that knowledge and put forward new insights. But the rewards are considerable. The class of 2021, of course, shared an additional parallel journey, the shock and disruption of COVID-19. I must pay tribute to our students and staff for the way in which they have adapted and the resilience and collegiality they have shown. In the context of such disruptions, the, th the things that remain constant, including the ritual of graduation, are even more welcome. While we can't yet be together in person, that should not diminish, diminish the enjoyment in being able to sit back and recognize the accumulation of uh, a great deal of hard work over the last few years. 
we can also look forward to think about the difference that hard work will make in the world. The IOE's mission is to improve lives and further social justice. It was founded in 1902, and from its roots in educating teachers for London, it has developed into a unique and world-leading center for research on education and society. This year alone, to pick just a few examples, we have launched major new research programs that will attract cohorts of individuals over decades to understand social change, particularly the long-term societal impacts of COVID-19. Recordings of our podcasts and events that share the IOE's expertise have received over 50,000 plays across 110 countries. Meanwhile, the IOE is playing a key part in UCL's new School of Creative and Cultural Industries based in the UCL East Campus in Stratford. We also remain number one in our field in the QS World University ranking for the eighth years in a row. But it is through you, our students and alumni, that the IOE makes the biggest impact. The careers you pursue and the role you serve in wider communities. Through your studies, you have developed many tools to enable you to make a positive difference. You have read widely, applied array of analytical techniques and intellectual skills, debated, reflected, evaluated, understood the applications and limits of research, and respected ethical considerations. You have learned to present your findings and ideas to inform or convince others and make sacrifices to achieve what you have. While the current context presents a daunting world to move on in, there are reasons for optimism in our recent history. Greater recognition of the impact of inequality and greater recognition of our interconnectedness at an individual, societal, and global level. There is a lot of talk of building back better. We must seize the moment to do just that. Next year, we'll be celebrating the IOE's 120th anniversary, making the IOE's evolution, marking the IOE's evolution, and looking at looking to what comes next. In terms of next phase in the IOE's development, we have two particular priorities. The first is to address societal problems with even greater conviction through challenge-oriented, solution-based, and impact-driven work, greater national and international collaboration, and on work that spans disciplinary fields will be important aspects of that. The second priority is attending to decolonization. In enhancing the IOE's global reach and impact will also require a genuinely decolonizing attitude, including meaningful collaborations with the diversity of communities in London, with the Global South, and with staff and students of the global majority. We hope that you will be part of next year's anniversary celebrations, but also that you will continue to engage with and help us on that journey. As well as an opportunity to offer congratulations, gradu graduation ceremonies are about saying thank you for the support of family and friends, colleagues and tutors that is so pivotal to our student success. A heartfelt thank you from me to IOE's colleagues and our guests today for their part in our students' achievements. At this point, it just remains for me to say that our graduates will continue to be part of the IOE and UCL family. You're now part of a truly global community of UCL alumni, some 300,000 strong. You can also join one of the numerous UCL alumni groups located in many cities and regions across the world. Please do stay in touch with us. As Director and Dean of the UCL Institute of Education, I now have the pleasure of formally conferring you degrees. 
In a moment, we're going to hear from one of our alumni members. David Stanley is a disability rights campaigner, teacher, music director, composer, and founder and CEO of the Music Man Project, a multi award uh, win, award winning international music education service for people with disabilities. He holds a master's degree in musical analysis, a PGCE from IOE, and the national professional qualification for secondary school leadership. In 2021, David was awarded the Medal of the Order of the British Empire in the Queen's New Year's Honours list for services to people with special educational needs. David was the 2020 Global Peace Ambassador for people with disabilities and became UK uh, government's Disability and Access Ambassador for Arts and Culture in 2021. He's also a member of the advisory panel for the National Plan for Music Education. He won the Lions International Outstanding Contribution to the Community Award and was named Community Hero by the UK Community Network in recognition of his efforts to reach vulnerable people during the coronavirus pandemic. He reached the final of both the 2015 and 2017 Music Teacher Awards for Excellence and has been nominated for both a Pride of Britain Award and for the 20, uh, 33 most inspirational leaders who have made a difference. Now, David Stanley. My name is David Stanley and I'm the CEO and founder of the Music Man Project a full-time music education and performance service for children and adults with learning disabilities. I studied PGCE in music back in 1999. Congratulations to the current graduating cohort. I hope you use this experience and qualification as a platform upon which to build a fulfilling and rewarding career. I remember that I initially resisted some of what I was told during my studies at the Institute, particularly how to write lesson plans. Ironically, it was this discipline that I relied on the most in my early career as a teacher, and I subsequently published several volumes of lesson plans and textbooks for teachers, and went on to qualify as a head teacher. My advice, therefore, is to value everything you have learned because you never know when you will need it. My long and successful career as a teacher and senior leader was only possible because of my PGCE. It also prepared me for my current position at the Music Man Project. I try to provide the same high expectations, the same determination to succeed and the same value in the power of music that underpinned my education. But I do this for my musicians with learning disabilities. My students have gone on to break a world record, to perform to members of the royal family, to inspire 10,000 mainstream primary school children, and of course to perform at both the London Palladium and the iconic Royal Albert Hall. I have duplicated my service right across the UK and have even talked in India, Nepal, South Africa and the Philippines. Just as I was helped to fulfil my potential, I now help my remarkable students fulfil theirs. I think they are the best of humanity and I have the most rewarding job in the world. My time at the Institute instilled in me a, a level of confidence that I rely on to this day. Now, two decades after my own graduation, I talk to you as a proud recipient of an honour from the Queen and the UK Government's Disability and Access Ambassador for Arts and Culture. I also now sit on the advisory panel for the new National Plan for Music Education. So, my career in many ways has come a full circle and my work will now inform the future direction 
of music education for many years to come. My advice is therefore to dream big, be determined and be creative in your career. Carve out your own distinct career path. And most of all, keep in touch with your extensive alumni network and peers. They will support you every step of the way. Thank you. Before we close the ceremony, let's have one final round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, and most importantly, our graduates, that concludes our virtual graduation ceremony. I invite graduates to stay on for a short uh, reception in which you will be able to take self selfies and share them with your friends. Please do also take the opportunity to visit our graduation web website at the address posted in the chat now to see messages from your teachers and a video from myself. I offer my wholehearted congratulations and my very best wishes for the future. Thank you, keep in touch, and remember, we are IOE. Congratulations, graduates. Um, you, can, you are now invited to engage with the selfie booth. The link is in the chat and the video will shortly play with the instructions.